Well, speaking of the Long Island Music Hall of Fame, did you know that Joan Jett recorded her I Love Rock and Roll in Syosset? I didn't know that. And Perry Como raised his family in Sands Point. And get this one, John Coltrane's Love Supreme was written in Dix Hills. Well, these were just some of the individuals and the music honored on October 15th at the Patchogue Theater at the first annual inductions to the Long Island Music Hall of Fame. This was an evening of honoring the past while making history. We're just beginning. This is the first step. And uh, we have a lot that we want to do. We want to create the museum. We want to create the resource center and the resources to let the world know that Long Island has been a wellspring of musical talent for over 100 years. It is my honor to welcome my good friend Peter Chris into the Long Island Music Hall of Fame. And uh, I mean, talk about, uh, everybody's been using the same word, eclectic, but boy, when you have a a program that honors Peter Chris and Kiss, and then honors John Coltrane and Mose Allison. And, and the Gershwin, wow. And uh, George Gershwin Ooh. and the Fudge, you know, in the Fudge. same evening. Right. Uh, you see an awful <laughs> lot of music, great music came out of this place. These inductees have touched billions of people around the world and it's time they get their recognition as, be, as being right here from Long Island. Now if a man tried to take his time on earth and grow That song was written by my dad Harry and it's not one of his better known songs but um, it's well known to those of us who knew him and loved him best as um, uh, excerpts from the song um, well if a man tried to take his time on earth and prove before he died what one man's life could be worth well I, I wonder what would happen to this world those are actually the words printed on his gravestone in Huntington you stay around long enough Somebody to give you something. <laughs> There's a viable music scene here. You know, a lot of great songwriters, a lot of great bands that have gone on to a lot of success. So I think sometimes being so close to a big city like Manhattan, you know, New York City is the capital of the world, so it's easy to get overlooked. We were rejected by every major label in America five times. And we were forced, like the Stray Cats and Jimi Hendrix, to go over to England to finally get signed to a record deal. It is my hope that with the birth of the Long Island Music Hall of Fame, that will change. And finally, the record industry will look toward Long Island instead of right there in New York City, toward Long Island, to the hotbed of talent that has always been here for nearly a hundred freaking years, okay? So, here's a Long Island, baby! So, I'm an Islander. I'm proud to be an Islander. And sometimes I take some heat for that. I'm sure you have, too. And where do we get that from? Mostly comes from people in the city. You know, are you from the island? Are you from Long Island? I don't know anybody who talks like that. It's a great night for the people of Long Island to understand the wealth of talent that we have that was before us, the wealth to be seen after us. And this is the end. They say you 